Allison Olsen is a student representative for the Board of Education. She's currently a senior at Reservoir High School. She considers the student voice the most important voice that needs to be heard. Please welcome Ms. Allison Olsen. What's up, y'all? Happy Black History Month. We the people of these United States, in order to perform a more perfect union, establish justice, supposedly. And those words are called to me when my country openly disposes we, the people, globally and locally and socially and vocally and totally and vocally and vocally, not vocally but vocally. And I propose to thee that vocally is the motive which we, these peoples, become we, the people. In a we that encapsulates not just the capitals, but the towns, not just the ups, but the downs, not just the smiles, but the frowns, not just the ones born on this ground, not only those who wear the crown, not only those who stick around, but a we that means the sick, the unfit, the we that gets hit, and yes, the black we be not misled by how the man has said that the dream of America is to secure the blessings of liberty and prosperity for our posterity. Contrarily, is prosperity for their posterity. Let me be of charity and bring this to clarity that the American verity is not in solidarity or coherity with the popularity. Be not misled. It's not true polarity between Republican and Democrat, but it's about what's seen as right and what's wrong with that. It's about what's seen as white and what's as black. It's about how we, the people, not only sees color but hears it as a matter of fact. It's about how we these people should be we the people and could be we the people if our black and brown skin wasn't seen as illegal. It's about how when they see us, they only see what's lethal. It's about how when they see us, their sight is deceitful. It's about how we these people are shown as a people when we're legitimately peaceful if we these people of these United States fails over a voice of our state. We the people will continue to discombobulate everything we have at stake and we must do it for our future and history's sake. Making no mistake that every single victory we have is strictly a possibility because of the delivery of our ancestry who continually saw liberty from the contradictory despite the wintry bitterly brought misery and which we are liberty is no sharing. Liberty is no serendipity, but it's crafted almost cynically, but civically, critically, and of course, politically, if we, the people. We, the people, never meant us. I beg that you trust. I don't mean to stand here and use flashy words to sugarcoat it, but we, these people, won't be we, the people, until each one of us has voted, until we recognize our voice and show it, until we hold democracy and control it, because we, the people, have to stop downplaying our sympathy, sensitivity, and dignity, acting like we are unaware of the brutality and the fact that we are promised tranquility, because that silence promotes violence unintentionally, and that's when I start to think that everyone opposite my race is a threat to me, and all this does is multiply my impurity obscurity and oh insecurity if we the people stay silent when we these people are dying with the dying wish that we the people are doing more than trying but actually finding results for which we've been buying without the cheating stealing and lying we these people must keep applying pressure till we are living not surviving till we these people are thriving till progress isn't crawling but flying until we these people become we the people thank you